Nikon has used a monocoque construction for the D5600, as seen in both the D5300 and D5500, with the shell of the camera forged from a single piece of material. In this case, a strong polycarbonate. This has enabled Nikon to reduce the number of parts used and keep the weight down. The D5600 tips the scales at 420 grams, body only, exactly the same as the D5500. And it's not only the weight that's the same, as the body appears to be pretty much identical to its predecessor, even the dimensions are the same, at 124 by 97 by 70 millimeters. If it wasn't for the need for a reflex mirror, the depth of the D5600 would surely put some mirrorless rivals in the shade. This means the body retains its narrow portion between the lens mount and grip. If it wasn't for the need for a reflex mirror, the depth of the D5600 would surely put some mirrorless rivals in the shade. The D5600 also keeps the well-proportioned hand grip, which makes the camera fit nicely in the hand and provides a very comfy grip. The top of the D5600 isn't overly cluttered with buttons, with a mode dial on the top of the camera that features the switch to activate the view around its collar, it's quick and easy to flick on and off whenever you need to use the rear screen to shoot. Next to this is the fully exposed command dial, pretty much every other Nikon DSLR barring the D5500 has only a small portion exposed from the body, that allows you to make adjustments to the aperture, shutter speed depending on the shooting mode you're using, while the exposure compensation button just in front, 